Hi, I'm Jessica Neal. I'm a student nurse at the University of Mary, and I'll be um, demonstrating how to do a Foley catheter today. So before I go into the patient's room, I would check the doctor's chart and or the patient's chart and see the doctor's orders to make sure All they're right. correct. Is there anything else I can do? For and then I'm going to the right patient's Are you room. Comfortable? So Are you I will pain? get my supplies. I need a All sterile right. Foley catheter kit and, and then I would wash my hands. Um, a biohazard bag and a waterproof pad, and I can go in the room. Hi, Jerry. For a while. The doctor like, ordered oh, a full no, no. catheter <laughs> to be inserted today. You did good. Can I get I your name and date of birth? Yes, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is Jerry Jazz, 315-1939. Awesome. Okay. Like, <laughs> when is the last time then, like, you urinated? Over as a position <laughs> oh, okay. You just did a little while ago? Yeah, you did good. And, and did you have anything with that? Yeah. Okay. And... Are you allergic to anything? Okay, sounds good. You're not allergic to anything. So, when is the last time you had your shower? Okay, you had one this morning? Awesome. If you hadn't had a shower or a bath, I would perform peri care. But um, since he has, I'm not going to. So, I can, I'm going to pull down your blankets, Jerry, okay? I'm going to um, start the procedure. He didn't have any questions because he had already had one inserted before. So I'm just gonna put his gown. And then just get flopping over. I'll put a waterproof pad so if there's any leakage, the bed won't be wet. Jerry, can I have you lift up your hips for me? Otherwise, this will no longer be sterile. Yeah. And Jerry, can I have you lift your legs out? Yeah. And that's why. And then I took my hand off to grab your position and paid the patient directly. And then I can start to establish my sterile field. Yeah. To make sure that I'm gonna take this out of the bag. I can put this in the garbage. And then I can put the biohazard bag at the end of the bed for garbage and open my lid. Okay, so open the back on the side to make sure you when I touch the outer bench. And next, I would drape the patient underneath with a so going to sterile cloth. You so Jerry, can I have you lift your hips up? They don't have any limitations or whatever. And you ask awesome. Them okay. Last or last so if it was a male, I could use this fenestrated um, drape, the one with the hole, and drape him. But since he's not, I'm just and gonna and take it to the side. And now, I've established my sterile field, with my gloves. I do know. Yeah, I'm just gonna be like, oh, so the you first one, do you know you pick up on the inner cuff, head on. Yeah, yeah. Second one, yeah. 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 that one is. Yeah. Pick up the inside of the cuff, mm -hmm. and then you can mm -hmm. arrange them appropriately. I mean, they didn't go on correctly. Mm -hmm. You want to keep them above your waist so they're sterile. Okay. Oh, I'm going to. Put yeah. this so basically just press down the here, little and I can take and then this up off. is up is going down. Or okay, and now I'm gonna lube this, or I, or I could have my assistant hold the lube. Yeah, I can strap my and lube the first Boys couple inches so it needs of insertion. Oh, and I can add this to my sterile like field. Okay, now I'm gonna start by cleaning. Um, the perennial area so there's a uh, less so risk of infection here. so I can get my swabs out and I can and also now I'll hold her labia open and I'll clean the outside edges then I would put on my um, bike to this and then um, I'll clean the inside trying to put it on the lower and part. so that hand's still dirty so I have to keep that on there else. this but is my I'm clean hand so I'll take this and kind of Jerry, can you bear down for me? I'm going to answer the catheter, okay? Okay. So you can put it in um, two to five inches or until you see urine flowing um, out of it. And now I can let go and I can Was there any pain or fill the, in inflate the balloon. No? Okay. Um, and
and this will hold, help hold the foley in. First I would pull on this and make sure there's tension so it doesn't come out. So the blue so we know the balloon is inflated correctly. And now I'll take my gloves off and just pull on them. And I was really I can take this. Everything except there was one and thing. I'm going to oh, when you just grab the sheet before or grab the white thing before, and then you just put your hand put her like leg strap on. on. <laughs> okay, good. No, it's good. Uh, I kind of put on and this will hold the foley in place. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so. oh well. Okay, and now if there's um, I'm going to. Throw everything I away. Ask and just fold of it correctly. Or if you knew what the folding pattern was. I didn't do that either. Yeah. I think I'm just going to not talk you know, about it. And now, <coughs> if there's any excess either. tubing, you, uh, you, you can coil it on the bed and clip <laughs> it. <laughs> and you'd look for any kinks in the oh, okay. tubing or anything. Know, maybe that was and make before. sure maybe, there isn't yeah. any. I don't know. And then I, I can hang know. this on the side of the bed, but not the side oh. rail. <coughs> and I'd have her. Jerry, can you put your legs back for me? Awesome. And is there any discomfort right now? That was so nerve-wracking. No, there is none. Okay. I'm gonna cover you back up. I don't want to. Okay. So later, I could come back and I would evaluate the characteristics of the urine, the color. Um, how much is in the bag, and I would um, check to make sure there's no leakage, and I can um, check the um, tubing again to make sure there's no kinks, and make sure the foley is still in correctly. And then I can um, go to the patient's chart, and I can record any important information, the eyes and nose, um, if the foley is still incorrectly, and I'd make sure I charted that I inserted the foley, and the time it was inserted, and who it was by, so um, that's the insertion of the foley.